Dr. Haddad is currently working as a director of infrastructure and project manager of the nuclear power plant, uh, the, the site and the reactor technology assessment team leader at the Jordan Atomic Energy Commission. Over 15 years of engineering and project management experience in civil construction, environmental and nuclear engineering, working with consulting contracting firms, utilities and governmental and international agencies in the planning, licensing, design, construction and inspection areas. Special interests in working on international projects and coordinating with governments, regulatory agencies, lending agencies to build and regulate nuclear power plants and overcome the ongoing energy and water resource shortage particularly in the Middle East, and of course in Jordan. Uh, I'm not going to read everything, this is six pages, because if I read everything, you will not have time to speak. Uh, uh, Dr. Haddad uh, holds a master's degree in science and nuclear engineering and radiological sciences from the University of Michigan at Ann Arbor. He has a PhD in environmental engineering from Kennedy Western University in California, a master's degree in environmental engineering from the University of Michigan, another master's degree in civil and structural engineering, also from the University of Michigan, and a bachelor's degree in civil engineering from the Jordan University of Science and Technology. I skipped one, two, three pages, <laughs> if I may. Uh, presently, his experience is in the Middle East Project Coordinator Manager uh, for the nuclear power plant with the Practice Manager, Senior Project Manager with Kenneth Fleming in Detroit from 2004 to 2006. Uh, again, Project Manager Engineering 93 to 99, also with Kenneth Fleming in Ann Arbor. Uh, engineer to for permit and regulatory compliance on nuclear power and other issues. He has some patents, some publications, a lot of publications. And whoever is interested, I will leave this here for you to read at your ease. I'm very happy to welcome Dr. Haddad. So the answer to the question is so far, it looks like we need only 22 per reactor, 22 million cubic meter per year. Why is it some more now for the next stage? I'm sorry? There will be some more work now for the next stage. Yes, and, 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 and we're monitoring also other projects, like for example, the DC project. DC project is gonna bring 100 million cubic meter of water to the region, to Amman, and that means the, wa the, the, the water use habit will change and you will see more water going to the sewer system. I said, uh, uh, continuing with Samra, we are also dealing with the specific project. So we are quite aware about the system. Yes. But uh, for the Samra, the same. Uh, do we need for safety that there is like gravity feeding? Yeah, definitely. This is uh, an issue we're considering. If you can save uh, pumping power and you can have a gravity flow, that would be great. But uh, you can, there are more important issues than uh, securing gravity flow. There are uh, elements uh, such as being close to population, close to active faults, we need to be away from all these things. And if we have to, then pumping is, is uh, would be the list of our worries. Uh, let me give you an example, Palo Verde, 36 miles of pumping from the city of Arizona. We might have to do redundancy, we might have to do two pipes, we may have to cross uh, active faults just in case we have to have a special design. But I cannot say that I have a firm answer that the plant will be there. All what I'm saying is that the driving force is cooling water, and the only two choices we have in Jordan is Arakaba or this site. And what we are doing is evaluating where can we place a site without harming the environment, without jeopardizing the integrity of the structures, and without having this transportation and transmission issues of water. But uh, I, 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 basically, this is we are under evaluation. We're doing the evaluation right now, so. Uh, I don't, uh, we were taking that into consideration, but I don't have an exact answer uh, at this time. Yes, go ahead. Can I elaborate on that, please? Because I think Herbes Samra is producing now 55 uh, uh, million cubic meters uh, per year. And uh, justification that it will increase uh, is uh, not very accurate because if the population of Jordan will increase at the same time, 
then irrigation in the Jordan Valley would need more water. So I don't think that we're talking about the increase of water from DC is a solution because we still have the Jordan Valley that should feed us in Amman. Now I want to comment, if I may, on the picture of one of the reactors, which is a Tennessee, the Oakland one, yes. which is a Y12, called Y12. And I was, uh, you know, surprised of showing the city uh, close to it. And this is a misleading, you know, uh, slide because this city has suffered from very high uh, cancer rates, uh, very um, uh, uncommon cancer, which is a leukemia cancer. And uh, one of the ladies who is married to uh, Emil Shaker's uh, son, her mother died of cancer from that. Uh, there is a study about it, about a very high uh, concentration of or, or percent of cancer in that city. Which city? Which is in Oakland, the y Y12 uh, reactor he showed on the slides in Tennessee. Now, uh, <clears throat> uh, my question basically is, again, about the safety of the reactor. And you said you have showed us the difference between the EPR and between the boiling rate, uh, water reactor. And again, I think at this time, you guys in the JAC, uh, J, J Atomic Energy Commission, are having problems with Fukushima because this is the, you know, the talk of the town and talk of all the media. And uh, my question is, basically, you, you are depending and you're betting that uh, an EPR, a pressurized reactor, would be a solution as if the only problem was in Fukushima uh, is a tsunami. We do know that we have many issues that could, could affect the safety of the reactor. Uh, for one, we all remember that uh, a Jordanian uh, played around and deceived the government and went into Afghanistan and blew himself up. What is the guarantee is that uh, Jake uh, will have uh, no jihadists inside the reactors and, you know, blow up the whole thing and mess up the whole, whole of Jordan. Uh, I think also uh, global, you know, changes in the world is showing us so much, you know, weather changes. And yes, you guys claim that tsunami will not hit the reactor, but flash floods are hitting Jordan left and right. And we have seen two weeks ago uh, very aggressive rain coming down and causing, causing flash, flash floods, which I'm sure they will stop the pumps of the reactor. My point is, uh, what guarantee do we have on the reactor while at the same time we have the alternative, which, you know, the, uh, the, 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 His Excellency, the Minister of uh, uh, Energy, is uh, putting down a lot and saying, you know, the energy mix will not depend on uh, renewables because renewables are very expensive. But, you know, it's very obvious that the renewables are cheaper than a nuclear reactor. And we are, you know, uh, not increasing the percentage of renewables because we're depending on the new nuclear reactor. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, I was trying to remember. Um, <clears throat> let me just uh, 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 go back to your first comment, which is uh, about the volume of water available at the plant. Um, of course, we've looked at data that was provided to us by the Ministry of Water and Irrigation. And uh, sometimes it's seasonal, sometimes uh, low season, high season, but on the average, and I have numbers that uh, were officially received that. Uh, it goes up to 80 million cubic meter uh, of water. Um, as far as uh, water use in the uh, irrigation, I don't know. I, I feel like the economical impact in our country from selling tomatoes and, um, uh, and some vegetables uh, may not be equitable to actually fuel uh, the country and the industry in the country with a viable uh, power source and uh, securing our uh, I'm not trying to compare, I'm with the agriculture, but I'm also with priorities. Uh, how much impact it has in our economy and in our social life to have uh, either which industry. But I agree with you, there should be some kind of an agreement of uh, uh, how much uh, the farmer gets for uh, compared to us. And this is not a solution. We're not saying that, we're just saying that uh, we're hoping that uh, at the end of the day, once we're done with our project, there'll be enough water to deal with that. And as far as the uh, picture that I showed, uh, I didn't show it that uh, just for the purpose of uh, population being uh, next to the power plant. Uh, I don't know if there is any confirmed studies that shows that uh, cancer rates are higher with villages or cities around the nuclear power plants. Um, we're talking about uh, two different things. Maybe the, 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 the name is the same, nuclear power plants, but tell me, 
How many new nuclear power plants have the people suffered around it? How many generation three? With all these safety measures and all these uh, uh, enhanced uh, uh, safety features, uh, so we were totally talking about nuclear power plants that were built uh, back in the 60s and the 70s, and early 80s. Uh, I'm not trying to, def to defend the idea. I think every radiation has its effect on people. My job as an engineer is to protect people. I cannot deny that there is an effect from radiation. But if I don't engineer the right system, then I shouldn't be in this field. Uh, and if somebody chokes from uh, drinking water, that doesn't stop us from drinking water. Um, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, like uh, <clears throat> the Fukushima experience is, is a success for our industry because basically this is how we build industries from learning from our mistakes. Brakes in this car failed, I enhanced brakes, and these parts. So basically, it should give us more security that if we design something, we're going to avoid what happened in Fukushima. It shouldn't hold us from moving forward. Um, I, 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 uh, basically, I look at the Fukushima as a success in terms of earthquake. Um, we all have in mind that we are following IEA procedures. Nobody will approve any site for a nuclear power plant or any technology or license anything without demonstrating to them in modeling and numbers and, 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 and all the mathematical uh, and, and theoretical and, and practical ways that this site is safe enough for the people. We cannot do that. I mean, we want to protect our people. I, I, I mean, I, what, what, it's, it, it's not just a wish list or it's not just a I hope, but nowadays with the, the new reactors and then the new way of looking for sites and selected technologies, the safety issue is the top priority. And uh, I guess uh, we were trying to do our best to kind of protect the environment and meet. Uh, that doesn't justify us doing the project. I'm just saying that, that we will do everything possible to engineer a system that will be safe enough. But uh, let, let, me, let, me, let me elaborate on that, please. There is no uh, IAEA full procedures uh, compliance. I'll tell you why. This is also misleading because simply, unfortunately, there has been so many slides coming out and pictures from the uranium mining in our deserts. And we have seen all the guys in the uranium mines without uh, full cover. IAEA insists that uh, anybody uh -huh. who will visit a uranium mine should have a full uh, uh, cover on his mask and his face and his breathing and his skin. Yes. And I have four slides uh, negating that fact uh, in Jordan. At the same time, coming back to the issue of the water, that you are uh, all again expecting 80 million uh, uh, cubic meters of water in, in Khirbis Samra. And I have to insist that Khirbis Samra today has a problem. They have a strike. Yeah. And, you know, with global, uh, which, you know, we don't know if strikes will, will give us water or not. But the issue again is what kind of uh, guarantee do we have in the future with global change, with weather, with, with environmental change, that we will have rain in Jordan anymore? Yeah, 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 I agree with you. I, I, the, nothing is guaranteed. Uh, uh, you have to do uh, engineering judgment and, uh, and you have to do uh, the, your work. This is uh, the IA process. Um, and i tell you what, the IA me tells you that stay away from uh, active fault. But my question is that how far? Is it three kilometers, two kilometers? The answer to this was from GNRC. 